Welcome back everyone. I am Shopta Pody from Bylife. Hope all of you are doing very well. So today I am going to discuss about how to design primers using Primer Blast in NCBI. For that, first of all, go to Google and search for NCBI and click here. Uh, entering NCBI, search here in the in this section for genes. Okay and type your required gene name in this section for me i am going to design primers for some exonic regions of ephx1 gene so i am searching for ephx1 gene okay and click search now when they will show the result see they have they are showing the result the first result will show you uh, it for homo sapiens or human now i am going to design primers for uphx1 gene of humans so for that i am clicking on this side uphx1 and here you can see the location of your gene on chromosome 1 okay so click on this link of uphx1 of homo sapiens and they will lead to a new page where you can get all the basic information regarding its function and all the things just scroll down and you can see the number of exons in this gene that is 11 and here you can see the graphical representation of overall chromosome 1 one and where does your gene reside this is where my gene ephx1 is located okay um, on the chromosome 1 now if you scroll down more you will get the more detailed graphical representation of your gene this is the ephx1 gene okay and if you uh, just put your cursor on it uh, for some time they will give all the basic um, basic information regarding this gene now as you all know a gene has exonic part and intronic part now what are the exonic parts these green blocks are the exonic parts okay whereas these green thin line is the intronic part now uh, let's say you want to amplify this exon this second exon of your ephx1 gene so for that just select just go to this part okay and select some region drag some region around your um, exon second exon and click on zoom on range okay i am clicking on zoom on range so they have now zoomed your second exon of uphx1 gene so that you can design your primer very easily okay so as we all know for pcr we need two types of primers one is forward primer and another one is reverse primer so for uh, designing forward primers select some regions uh, before starting of the exon okay just this region and uh, do keep some gaps between uh, your required primer sequence and your uh, exonic part or gene sequence okay now i am selecting this region now press control and now select some region for designing your reverse primer so i am um, i am selecting this region for reverse primer sequencing now go, go to the now click on here and now just keep your mark, uh, mark uh, cursor on this re range and select for primer blast okay now whenever you will select primer blast they will lead to a new page where you can get the accession number of your ephx1 gene and the forward and reverse primer range okay that you have selected and all the default details uh, information regarding primer parameter exon intronic selection primer pair specificity checking parameters etc here okay you can change it but i generally keep it uh, as default okay uh, but if you want you can change it okay uh, for for uh, for example see here the piece they have given that the maximum pcr product size will be 316 and minimum is 70 if you want to get uh, uh, your minimum number uh, increased so you can just uh, change here okay so you can change all these parameters accordingly if you want you can also change advanced parameters but i am not changing anything i am uh, just clicking right to the get primers and when you will select get primers they will uh, open a new window and uh, they will design 
10 primers for you okay and generally the first one is suitable but this process will take some time like four to five minutes okay um, after that we will see all the primers okay that the primer blast have designed ncbi have designed for you okay so let's see how much time does it take okay already 32 seconds okay now they have given you the results okay and here you will get the graphical view of your primer pairs the details will be shown okay see here they have selected train primers or they have designed train 10 primers for you and generally uh, the first one is the most useful one okay um, generally we select the first one okay but let's see these are the 10 pairs of primers that they have designed for you and in each pair you will get the sequence of forward primer then the sequence of reverse primer okay then they are obviously the forward primer is uh, plus strand and the reverse one is minus strand the length of both the primers 20 22 you can see the starting position of the primer for se from 744 to 763 like that and stop position okay and now this is the important position tm the melting temperature you, you can see the melting temperature for primer one is 60.84 and for reverse primer is 59.77 so um, just average these two and you will get your pcr melting temperature okay the annealing temperature sorry then the gc content as we all know uh, the gc content between 40 to 60 is a good indicator of any primer because as much as your gc content that means the primer annealing will be more um, stable okay as we all know uh, gc bond is more stable than at bond okay now the self complementary it should be between 4 to 6 okay self complementary means how much your uh, primers can complement with each other okay that means how much is the probability of forming primer dimer okay and this as if it is low it is great and if it is higher it is not so great okay now going to the self three prime complementary it means uh, the three prime part of your forward primer is a forming dimer with the reverse primer or not okay what is their complementarity or the three prime part of your forward primer is forming dimer with itself or not or same for the reverse primer okay so uh, seeing all these um, information you have to choose uh, the correct primer for your pcr and in my next video we will see uh, how to check pcr in in silico okay pcr primers amplification in in silico so for today i hope this video will be useful for you if you find this video useful don't forget to hit the like button and share it with your friends and for more such videos don't forget to subscribe to my channel thanks for watching and happy learning